Hello, my name is Carlos, and uh, welcome to this video tutorial I'll be making on how to add texture to this mesh that I did of myself. And uh, with this tutorial here, I'll be thinking that you know the basics of uh, Blender, you know how to move your way around. If you don't, and if you leave me a comment on what particular um, up subject you'd like to know about Blender, if it's the basics, I'll go ahead and teach you. I'm not an expert, so don't expect much from me. But whatever I know, I'll be more than happy to share it with you guys. And the reason I'm making this tutorial here is because I went ahead and looked for one. I was looking for one how to add texture to my face. And um, I couldn't find one. Um, actually, I did find one, but uh, there was no audio. And uh, they were using a different version of Blender. For those of you who don't know, uh, Blender 4. Point, sorry, 2.49. It's way different than this one. This one here is 2.5, uh, and um, a lot of things have changed. So, you know, it, I just it was a pain in the butt for me. But I went ahead and discovered it. I had help from the other video tutorial. Yes, I did, but it, it was a pain in the butt because it didn't had any explanation or use a different uh, version of Blender. But that's why I'm making this tutorial to make um, life easier on you guys that would like to add a texture. So. I'm going to do that just now. Um, first of all, you notice that I have a front view and side view here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, window panel to UV image editor. It's going to give me this grid. Right now, I am in uh, object mode. Sorry, I'm in edit edit mode. If I hit tab, I go into object mode. Tab, I go into edit mode. I'm going to select a seam, which I have already selected what I want to be a seam. It's not a seam yet. So by uh, uh, sorry, by holding and um, by holding shift and click right right clicking on the mouse, I went ahead and uh, selected that seam right there. Okay, I'm gonna press one to go into front view. And uh, what I want to do now is mark the seam. So what I do is I'll do Control E. I'll go ahead and do mark seam. Now it gives me the seam is marked. As you can see, it's red. Uh, and yellow, sorry, red and orangey. Okay, so I'm going to press A, and that's going to show me a red line. Okay. If I go ahead and uh, wait, first of all, let me go ahead and apply the mirror mark. So I can I, I can apply a mirror modifier if I'm in uh, object mode. Sorry, you know, I get those confused sometimes. In edit mode, so I'm going to tap out of edit mode. I'm going to apply the mirror modifier. Again, if you don't know what a mirror modifier and all this is that I'm talking about is, then you might want to go ahead and uh, watch um, basic Blender tutorials. Or if you like, just leave me a comment and um, I'll go ahead and make a tutorial for you. Happy to do that for you. I'm going to tap back into edit mode. What I want to do now is I'm going to hit U. I'm going to hit unwrap. Sorry. Select all with A, U, unwrapped. And it's going to unwrap the mesh. I'm going to hit A to select all my vertices on my unwrapped mesh. I'm going to hit R to rotate it. It's going to rotate it like that. And just get it as you know as fairly as close as possible. Looking forward. Okay. I'm going to hit G to grab it, move it inside the grid. I'm going to scale it a little bit. So I'm going to hit S, X. To constrain on the x-axis and move my mouse in closer and it's going to scale my my mesh my unwrap mesh um, on the x-axis that way it's inside my grid okay so what I want to do next is I would I want to go to object data click object data from default it gives me this name right here give you texture uh, which is this texture right here well this UV area right here and what we want to do now is hit the plus sign and uh, what do you think what? don't worry it's still there well, what I just did is I, I did another UV texture there if I click on the first one the previous one it's you know the one that we unwrapped is still there I'm gonna go back to the second one and I'm going to name this one just whatever face one okay go into front view still in front view hit you Make sure your cursor is on the mesh because if you hit you here, nothing happens. Hit you, and then we're going to tell it to project preview. 
and it's going to give those vertices um, uh, forward or looking forward okay and uh, we'll just name that one I thought I already named it but I guess something happened I'll name it face face one I'll go ahead and click the plus sign again and I'll go ahead and name this one face two okay what I'll do this time is I'll go ahead and uh, hit three to go into side view hit U and then hit fracture from view again and it's going to give me those vertices once again okay so let me go back into face one what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and open an image and the image I want to open is an, a photograph of myself looking forward I'll hit A to select all my vertices um, right here what you want to do is S for scale, X to restrain on the X, or S for scale, Y to restrain on the Y axis, and then R to rotate. And the reason I want to rotate mine is because, well, not that much, but my, as you can see, my face is not really looking straight. And uh, it's kind of tilted sideways. Okay, so uh, a, a reference point that I like to use is R, my eyes, on the scale, X axis. Just try to make it as perfect as possible as you can. It's not going to be perfect, but you know, go ahead and try to make it perfect. As perfect as possible. S to scale, Y axis. And uh, I'm not going to take too much time because I already have another file that already has all that. But I am going to show you something else. It's, it's the same process. Go right here to uh, the other text, um, UV texture that we did, and what you want to do is open the photograph. You guessed it, looking sideways. Okay, and you basically do the same thing A for grab, uh, sorry, A to select all the vertices, grab, G for grab, and S to scale, and so on and so forth. Make sure it's get it as perfectly as possible as you can. And the end result should be something that looks like this. Let me go back into object data. And you may be thinking he hasn't done it. Well, I, I did do it. It's just that I moved my images around my files and Blender cannot find the path anymore. So let me go ahead and tell Blender where those photographs are again. See, as you can see, it's more or less lined up. It's not perfect, but you know, it's the best I could do. I'm going to go to the side one, do the same, I'm going to open it, I'm going to go to the folder where I have my photograph, and there you go, okay, so now what we want to do is, and still in object data, and go down to the UV texture, hit the, uh, right, right now, the names are different, If remember I, I named this one face one, and this one face two, well right here I was a little bit more specific, I named this one front, and this one side, and this is unwrapped. I'm not sure if I spelled that right. Sorry for my bad spelling. Let me go ahead and now under the unwrapped hit image. And I'm going to open a new image. And um, you can name it and you, you can title it. And then you can select the dimensions of the of the pixels, I guess. 3000 by 3000 is a, is, is a good one because it'll be a large image and you can get a lot of detail but I'll just leave it as default and what we want to do now is tap out of edit mode okay and that's going to give me that image this dark image what I'm going to do now is while my mesh is selected right now my light is selected um, you zoom in and now uh, scrolling on your mouse wheel right click my mesh to select it I'm going to hit this little box right here and I'm going to go to texture paint it turns my mesh black okay I go to the right if for some reason you don't have this window open um, hit T T as in Thomas on your keep on your keyboard and it collapse it and opens it whenever you want to okay make sure the brush uh, the clone brush tool is selected and you want to scroll down make sure all of these are selected. I can't really remember which ones are not selected. I think stencil and layer are not selected. If they're not, go ahead and select them. 
and this from default 80 I put it into 90 I was playing around with it and uh, it seems like 90 works the best for me uh, you might want to try 90 if not you know play around with it yourself and what we want to do here is we want to paint the image the front image that we had already on this mesh on the UV texture into this um, black area right here so that then we can go ahead and take this image and uh, do some more work in like another program called like Photoshop or GIMP or whatever okay so to do that what you want to do is with uh, on object data make sure unwrap is selected and right here if you're on, on front view make sure that next to layer if you notice if I hover my, my mouse um, cursor over it turns blue if I click on it it gives me the same names that I have right here so I click on it and since I'm in front view I'm gonna hit front and then I'll just start painting and it's going pretty smooth and it starts painting and it starts to reveal my my image onto the mesh and uh, there we go what's happening now is uh, this image is being unwrapped I don't know if I mentioned it before or not but uh, basically what this is doing is if you can remember I unwrapped the mesh and uh, here let me tap back into edit mode I unwrapped the mesh if you can remember now what I'm doing is I'm I am unwrapping the image however I cannot unwrap an image looking forward and uh, expect to have the the ears and, and the, the detail of the, the back because the photograph is taken forward so in order for us to do that, that's why we hit and um, created this side one right here. Okay, so let me tap back into object mode, and let me just go ahead and paint that. Okay, come on, yeah. And obviously, um, you can do much better by taking a photograph looking up. That way you can paint this right here, and then you want to do the same stuff that you already done here. Uh, you go like that on edit, edit mode, and uh, you'll create another layer right here. And now uh, you'll tell it you project from view, and you'll have the image looking up. I'm just gonna delete that. That way, tap back into edit mode. That way you can get a uh, better. Sorry, go back into unwrapped. And uh, that way you can get the, the the pixels looking nice and neat here. Right here they're all stretched out. And uh, what's going on here? Um, seems like I somehow managed to go ahead and screw it up. It's always good to name your 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 texture. You see, I just had a hard time finding it because I, I was sloppy and not naming it. Okay, and uh, like I was saying, you know, the nose also looking up get get a better better texture like that. And let's go into side side view, hitting three on the numpad, and. If we start painting here, it's not going to work quite well because it's now we want to hit the side view. And let's go ahead and start painting the side. And it's going to start revealing our mesh. It's going to start getting painted on it. And that side reveals. It, it unwraps like that. Let me hit control 3 to go to the opposite way and let me paint it okay and there you go let's go ahead and paint 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 good stuff okay now as you can see it's not perfect um if you wanna um, excuse excuse my um straight language if you wanna if you like to make this better and if you don't want to take the trouble of taking an, a, a photograph looking upwards to fix this and also a photograph of, of yourself at a 45 degree angle looking that way so that you can fix that however right here I could go ahead and I, I think I can go ahead and get away 